Hi Biddy, how are you? Welcome back to Tam Predicts. Yes, I was just taking out the uh, cards here and I hope it's a beautiful day and I read a lot of messages where people did uh, get to meet their loved one or got a call and I'm so so happy. Let's start with the energy cards is what I get. Let's start with the energy cards and see what it is and without shuffling the last card is blossoming abundance. You know today's I feeling is like a lot of positive, lot of abundance, lot of uh, you know uh, happiness in the relationship number three is important you could be a march born or next three days are very important for you something beautiful is going to happen starting right now you could be dealing with a march born you could have started seeing each other in march oh wow even the next one door to personal healing and happiness seven number so you've got three and you've got seven beautiful numbers and look at the door to happiness opening with a lot of uh, abundance with a lot of blessings, the rainbow, love, uh, you can see a dove piece in the relationship, blossoming. So you've got a lot of blossoming. Maybe you love flowers or they love flowers or you love gardening or they love gardening. Right? Gardening tools. I don't know, something to do with gardening tools. Sorry, I, I talk fast and I give my messages fast because most of them are channeled and I I keep getting them and I keep giving it to you. Thanks to my ascended masters, my spirit guides and... Sorry, and... My Sended Masters, my Spirit Guides, and my Archangels. Let's see what are the other messages. Action time. I told you something is going to start uh, coming towards you. It is action time because it's blossoming. It's the doors opening, which is also action. If uh, you are in a relationship going well, it's going to blossom more. If things haven't been right, wait for next three days, starting now, whenever you listen to this reading, it's going to be beautiful because this is action, okay? Action only happens when somebody who's closed, open their doors to happiness, to understanding, to uh, making the situation right, are open for a conversation, are open to meet you. I feel the word open comes here, like they are more open. I don't know if you were dealing with a very uh, close personality, like your special person was very close, standoffish, uh, did not take your point of view, was always imposing their view on you but that's also going to change because this is beautiful i don't know why i get the word transformation i get butterflies i mean things are going to change i don't know if you're seeing 555 five, five, but i definitely feel that's important look at the action they're almost i mean racing towards you it's it's almost like they're leaving someone okay this could be true for someone it's not that everybody is you know in a third party relationship or you know something happened and they had to you know, this could be a job, this could be some kind of a messy situation or this could be a complicated situation where you are married, they are married or something. So they've made a decision. They're like, no, I have to be with this person because this person, which is you, waited for me, was patient with me, wanted to be with me. And now is the right time because things are sorted out here. Whatever was, uh, uh, you know, a, a problematic, things are sorted here and I'm going to go towards them. And look at the end of the deck. I'm not done anything. It is journey. And look at this. The person, I feel this is your person, they are actually coming towards you. They had a lot of options. Options doesn't mean just people, okay? Not that they were seeing people. They had different options in life or probably you two weren't on the same page. Something happened, you know, or if it's a relationship that's going well, touch wood, everything is fine. Then anyway, your person has left everything behind to be with you. And I feel you've left everything else to be with them. I don't know if your families were disagreeing and you left the families. I mean, it's always better when the families are also, you know, uh, they say a yes and you're together. But I feel some kind of, you both, or you both decided that let's leave that, let's leave this, you know, or let's leave the fights and be together. So that's why maybe that channel opens, the talk opens. But this is action, guys. Very important. Number eight important. So we've got eight, we've got seven, we've got three. I don't believe this. And I just took it out from the cards. You have to have abundance. It's abundance in love. Look at the owl. You both are wiser. The situation is better. It's more, you know, uh, sorted, talked. You know, you both have talked to each other about the situation. It's so, so much better. And you've got this card again. Actually means this card has to, uh, you know, uh, it belongs in this. And the, at the end of the deck, I shuffled. It's a game journey. So the journey towards each other also begin you know i can actually see two people like you see in the movies coming towards each other it's like a union a reunion you know it's like you've done with the past done with the past you don't want to talk about the past it's like you want to live your future with them you want to be in the present with them look at this how beautiful it is wow this is blossoming abundance sunflower roses i can see lavender such beautiful colors i can see all kind of flowers here 
I also see mushrooms. <laughs> so there's a, it's mushrooming. There, it's it's how it's growing. You know the uh, love for you and journey card should be there. I think I should keep it here because all I see is the journey here. It's like leaving everything behind. You know, I've, it's like almost you're leaving a baggage also behind. Like I said, you're not picking it up. See, in the hand, there's hardly anything. It's just like, you know, I'm done with this and it's a new chapter. Maybe you have to decide it or are going to decide within three days that, you know, it's going to be a new chapter. Seven, again, important. So, yes. You know, you're like, I'm happily settled. Like, I have no problems. I am free now. If you were the one having trouble and you could not go towards them or if they had trouble coming towards you. They're also saying, hey, my money situation is right. I've got a job. I've got, you know, I'm um, doing things rightly. Just let me just put the lamp properly. Otherwise, the light gets low here. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I've uh, done things and uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm well settled. Now, now it's time for me to see, uh, walk, you know, towards you. And uh, it's time for you to walk towards me. Magician and the mirror. Eight number again. Balancing of two different forces. You could be a water sign or they could be a water sign. You could be a fire sign or they could be... A fire sign so it's like balancing of two things and it's almost the magician you know I mean you two were shown uh, you know when you were uh, away from each other you were shown the reality that you can't be with them or you, you were shown the reality of the situation and it's like when you see a mirror also like you know a lot of times you ask questions and I think one of you would have done that uh, stood in front of the mirror and said hey what am I doing and look at this one I said hey what am I doing is the thinking woman Am I letting somebody go just because I can't wait or, or what am I doing? You know, I think that question was asked. I have to take this. I saw this and look at this. You wanted to walk away, but you're looking back. I think that's a very important thing. I get the word cherry blossom also. The trees, which are beautiful. I think they're in Japan. Here are the crystals. So you're like, hey, I'm walking away, but my heart is here. You know, should I walk away or not? I think you were wondering what to do. You've got scissors here. I've never noticed, noticed these scissors. It's like, should I cut the ties or not? Almost the gate is forming an 11 number. If you see, we also got the gate, you know. The gate, gate is still open. You can turn back and make things right, you know. And you did turn back and uh, made, make things right is another thing that I get. You've got a firefly there. Maybe it's like almost showing you the way. And at the end of the deck, we have a man holding a card. Uh, what is a card? <laughs> Does your person also do tarot? That's strange. Anyway, the man holding a heart. <laughs> the card could be a card, like uh, writing something romantic. Maybe a card is coming towards you. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> so they're holding a uh, heart in their hand and they're like, hey, I'm coming towards you. Queen of Cups, beautiful. Lot of warmth, lot of love in the relationship. Okay, if somebody said a uh, no to your relationship before, would actually say, a yes is another very big message that I am getting. See the emperor. I mean, uh, the person also behaved like this. Okay, the emperor. I feel much wiser, much better. Before they behave like I'm not going to budge from my position. I can almost feel this person, you know, getting up and going towards you. I really feel that somebody, um, you know, an elder in the family who you respect, their respect is going to make things right for you. I mean, there's somebody who's going to be there and make you to talk, you know, like a mediator. I don't know why I get that, but there is somebody in the family. It could be an older friend who's much wiser, you know, could be younger, younger than you, but is much wiser. They're going to be a mediator, you know. I've got the sun. It's a beautiful new day, beautiful new beginning, okay. And this is 19. 19 is number 10. I also saw number 10 there. I'm just going to take it from the cards. I use these cards for the reading. They are my first cards right away and I love them. Every reading I do personalize through these cards. So you've got a 10. 10 is also one which is important. And you've got the sun. It's bright. It's a new beginning. It's a new day. It's uh, new things coming. There's another horse which is action. And uh, you could have a little baby I also get. I mean... Not really old, but you guys have a baby together. Just had a baby together. And you want to fix things between you two. That's another thing I get. I'm thinking between five or nine. That's the number I get. I'm going to do five today. So if your zodiac is not there, don't worry. You already have abundance in life. According to my cards and my masters. Cancer. Wow. First card. What a sign. You've got Capricorn. 
I get C is important. I don't know if your country's name or your name begins with C or their name begins with C. Three more cards to go. You got Pisces, lot of water energy, okay? Water is also emotions, so a lot of emotions flowing. The door to emotions suddenly opens you like, what is this flood? You know, I've never seen you being so expressive. You got Virgo here. And you've got Taurus here. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. So uh, these were your messages and I'll be back another reading. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'm so glad I can give you these messages. And I'm so glad even one person gets a message. I get very happy. And I hope all of you who listen to me get a message or get the call back or have a beautiful, beautiful relationship. So take care, guys. Do subscribe to my channel. Do hit the like button and do comment. That's the only things I ask you. That's the only thing I ask from you, okay, to do. Bye, guys.